it is the the truly iconic race for one of a soundbite. It's a it really is been the ultimate test for a, for a thoroughbred for for hundreds of years, and uh, I'm pleased to be a part of it. I mean, it's it's a special race, and uh, for each generation, they only get one chance at it. To buy the winner of the English Derby, it's got to be top of the list. You know, we've had uh, we've had quite a few Hong Kong Derby winners and uh, other Derby winners around the world, but you know, this is the one I would uh, put number one. And uh, you know, you don't often get a chance to buy a horse even in the race, let alone with a, with a chance. He's a very well balanced horse. His pedigree suggests he should thrive over a mile and a half, um, but he's not. Uh, a slow horse, if you know what I mean. I mean, he's, he's got a very high cruising speed and good tactical speed. Um, so, yeah, we're really looking forward to it. I think it's th the nature of the race should suit him well. The horse is by Australia, by a derby winner with an excellent pedigree. The, um, the family have all been good horses and he's proved himself to be worthy of being in the racing. He's got a very, very good turn of foot for a middle distance horse. You know, the, the sort of human tragedy of, of the accident in October is, is still very sort of fresh and raw and um, the, the chairman very much loved his racing and he really went about to try and set up to a programme that he could have horses competing in these sorts of races and uh, for, um, you know, for, for Bangkok to, to achieve Derby success would be unbelievably uh, satisfying for all of us uh, to, to do it in his memory.